Welcome to Case Back Watches. My name is Tim, and in this episode, I'd like to speak about the Cold War and about two interesting watches and one interesting book. And I found this book in the local library, and this started my obsession for Cold War literature, literature and Cold War items. Yes, this is Forever and a Day. This is the new Bond. Yeah, the new Bond. Not, of course, by Ian Fleming, but with original material by Ian Fleming. What does this mean? I don't know. Written by Anthony Horowitz, and I've read the first 33 pages, oh, pretty good read, good idea behind it, because this is the prequel to Casino Royale, and so you can see Bond here at his yeah, first job interview at the Secret Service, and so, so very interesting read, if you want to buy this, affiliate link in the description. Okay, but as I said, this started my obsession with Cold War items, and then I wanted something for my little study here, some, some, some decoration, and I, for another reason, I'm obsessed with world time. And then I th said to me, okay, I want to, a nice clock. I want a world time clock. And I thought this is super special to buy something like that. An old Seiko from the 80s, a desk clock, not a, not a, not a, not a clock for the wall. This is the desk clock you put on your desk. And it's, I really like this aesthetic because it's, a little bit luxurious because this is real wood, but then you have this um, this slightly trashy design, and the same design you find in the early Bond movies. This imagine the the, the office of M, for example, or some sceneries there. There's always a little bit luxury in it, but it's uh, theatralic luxury mixed with 60s design, 60s and 70s design, which can be really trashy. And yeah, here it is. And I was super proud to buy this. Bought this in a forum, posted it on Instagram, my own Cold War item. And then somebody told me, well, TGV has the same watch or the same clock. And I thought, oh no, no. And the follower on Instagram said, yes, <laughs> it isn't exactly the same clock, but it's, uh, it has the same mechanism, the same dial, same, yeah same layout, but another totally different case. TGV has this with, with glass, with glass and two columns, and this is way better, of course, in my opinion. And interesting, then I saw the same clock um, at Federico Talks Watches in the office of Federico, and I said, oh no, another guy. <laughs> I thought this is a new idea. And by the way, fun fact, it's the same watch, the clock you could see on the Urban Gentry, I think 2013 is now in the office of Federico Talks Watches. Why is that? Ah, very interesting theory here. Maybe they have, they have made up their, their argument. Maybe they are dear friends and now they have... Yeah, now he, the, 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 the watch, the clock is now with Federico, but it's pure speculation. Okay, let's place this on the desk. Okay, and then, as I said, obsessed with Cold War and World Time, and then I wanted a Russian watch which is a world timer that's this was my next idea i wanted that pretty bad and then i saw one on um, on on ebay but smidgen over the market price and then i checked dealers in germany and i found one i found the website poljot24.de this is an online shop run by julian kampmann since i think 19 1994, so he's really long in the business with Russian watches. He sells only Russian watches and some, some seagulls from China. And I asked him, can you lend me a watch? Is this possible? Only for the review and then I will, I will send it back to, to you. And I was prepared to explain a little bit more, but Julian said, okay. <laughs> and then he sent me a very, very special watch. And I will show you that watch in the light box. By the way, a little disclosure here, or full disclosure, I will not receive any money for this review. I'm totally free to speak my opinion about that watch. I have to send it back now after this video, or I, have, I could buy it, but without any discount whatsoever. So free content unsponsored, okay? But let me show the packaging. Normally, I'm not this um, unboxing kind of guy because I have something that's really boring. Then you have this FedEx thing, and yeah. But this is <laughs> a little bit different. This was the parcel. I've opened it, of course. And here's the, here's the watch. I will show you this in detail right uh, in a minute. And some documentations about Polyot models and a package of Russisch Brot. 
translated Russian bread. This is a cookie. This is a cookie and you can see it's a very special form of cookie. My little daughter will love that. So Julian, thank you very much for the cookies. And then there is much, there is a card. Okay, this is not very special. And another card, and yes, and of course to those flips. Yeah, this is the box of the polio, and here is the watch. Here is the watch, card, uh, board, no, don't know how to, how to call this. And this leather thing here, that's not, not really leather, I think, but okay, a really affordable watch. And this thing does the job, of course. And here, first, the original Polyot strap. I will show you this strap in the Lightboard box as well. Uh, okay, let's go to the watch. The watch comes with another strap. Julian Kampmann delivers every watch with a Rios strap, because the better quality, of course. And here it is, Polyot World Time seal and tag and everything, so I cannot wear this watch, but of course I can show you everything in the light box and I will do this right now. Okay, let's begin here with our Psycho World Time clock. And little disclaimer, I haven't seen TGV's review because I like his reviews and I like his channel, but I don't want to be under his influence here. I want to make my own thing. And so let's start fresh from the beginning. This is a quartz piece. And the first thing you may notice that the little airplane on the second hand flies smoothly through the sky. And I really, really love that, that you don't see here the click, 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 we connect to quartz movements. There's a little mechanism inside and actually can hear this mechanism. If I put the, the clock really close to a microphone, then you can hear him. Very interesting, but it works. It absolutely works here, as you can see. And the idea now, the, idea, the, the functional idea here is very simple. You put your town on position number 12, and then you can see on the time bezel or the time scale, so this, this, this scale from 1 to 24, there you can see the time in those other capitals and in those other cities. And the white represents day and the darker side represents, of course, the night. And so very, very easy to see. And what I really like here is the angle of the view. Look at the globe, please. I think we're located here on the North Pole and we're looking down to the South Pole. And so you have those strange, strange forms, those strange continents. I think I can spot North America, South America, Europe, I can spot everything, but it's a very unusual angle, very unusual look, and this I feel a little bit like a Bond villain <laughs> located on the North Pole and yeah, looking at the world. So very, very interesting. And what I really like as well is the case. What kind of wood is this? I'm not really sure, but it fits the style of the clock. This slightly bondish, slightly trashy style of the 60s, 70s, 80s. And so I could imagine this clock on the desk of a armchair general and yeah it's just fun to look at it and the back side here you can see this is plastic pretty normal for that period i haven't expected any sort of metal here so this is okay i mean after all i think they've sold those watches for um, little money rather little money and today you can pick them up on ebay for what is it 45 i saw them on ebay.com for 45 dollars and in europe they the same amount i've paid a little bit more for this because it was a very good seller um i bought it in a forum and so i paid a little bit extra for for yeah for the reputation of the seller so to speak but this is fine for me absolutely fine okay but now let's check the polyot first the strap um yes i don't know <laughs> to be frank this is, uh, doesn't feel like quality, to be very frank. And of course, this is the reason why Julian Kampmann has changed this, or he changed this every strap for a Rios strap. And so let's, oh, excuse me. So let's go on. And here we are with our watch, with our Poliot World Time, or the official name is Traveler Watch. Traveler Watch of this. 
This is the official name of the watch. And basic specifications are 39 millimeters, 39 millimeters case diameter, lug width is 20, and the height is a smidgen under 15, so it's not exactly a small watch, but it's a, in a way a tool watch, and so yeah, for, and the 39 in my eyes is perfect, just perfect. The crystal is mineral. This is not perfect because it's between sapphire and plexi without any advantages. I mean, plexi has the advantage that you can polish it very easy. Sapphire has the advantage that it's scratch, scratch resistant. And mineral glass, yeah, hmm, doesn't have any, any advantage. And so this could be the next step for this watch next time, please, with the sapphire crystal. Although one little advantage you can uh, replace a mineral glass for let's say 30, 30 euros at least in Germany this is the price and so yeah this is a little advantage but I would like to see this watch with the sapphire. Okay, um, high polished case as you can see, high polished case, very interesting case back with plenty of information on it, by the way this is the seal for the strap so never mind. Plenty of plenty information on it. Paul, your traveler watch, 999 pieces out there. This is number seven. Water resistant, only a little bit. Three atmospheres, but this is normal for such a watch, I think. All stainless steel, of course. And yeah, so this is a very attractive, in my eyes, attractive case bag. Do you want to open it? Many people are afraid to open a case bag, but I've checked it with my with my case opener. It's easy. Let's do it. Let's open it. I mean, we're in the light box here. This is, here's no dust around. The only thing you have to keep in mind, there is a rubber seal in the case bag. Here, we don't want to lose this, of course. And there it is. There is our movement. Without any decorations, of course, but I mean, this is a Thule watch. This is a tool watch. And I find this, anytime I see this, I find this really exciting. To look at all those moving parts, so interesting. Um, let's operate the watch like this. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. This, I think, this would go too far. Let's let's enjoy the sight a little bit, and then I will close it again in front of the camera. I'm not sure if this is so easy now. You may notice that I'm very careful. I don't. Of course, I don't want to touch anything with my finger from the inside. I mean, the outside is um, never mind, but. Inside the watch, you shouldn't touch anything with your fingers. Oh, look at this. This was very easy. Okay, I will close it after the video correctly with the case opener or case closer. And but yeah, that's our movement. And to be more precise, here we're speaking here about a value 3133, or let's say uh, some sort of clone, but it's not exactly a copy because Paul Yacht back then bought the old machinery from Switzerland to manufacture that movement. And now we have the strange situation that the movement, the Valju 3133, is in the West out of production and in Russia it's still available. And it's a rather robust movement and can be very accurate. 23 joules, 21,600 beats per hour and a power reserve of 48 hours. Okay, and now let's operate it. This is the fun part. The fun part, let's operate it. Hand winding. And now we can, this is of course a normal chronograph, so there is nothing new for us. First pusher starts the chronograph, first pusher stops it again and then you can reset it with this thing. And position number one, I think, oh no, this is, okay, this is the time, there's no position number two. But I think I've read that there is a quick set for the date. I really like the form of the hands, by the way, and the way it matches the indices. Look at those beautiful arrow indices. Very, very well done. I really like that look. Really, I mean, the look, it looks a little bit bad. Bad in the way evil, right? This black dye with a polyot on it, a little bit evil. I really like that. Okay, date is changing. Yeah, very good regulated, look at this, very good regulated. And now I think the quick set, ah, oh, there was a click, and now you can, OK, 
okay. Oh, right. Very good. Oh, look at this. The distance here is very small. You only have to go back to 11 o'clock. Then you will have your quick set. Okay, works pretty well. But now the fun part, or fun part number two, of course, is the is the bezel, the city. Here you can here you can set the city, your city at the 12, and then you can then you can find how um, what's the time in the other in, in those other cities here. This is the idea behind those world time watches. This makes a fine noise. Do you hear this? Only in one direction. In the other direction, there is no sound. Hmm, this is a little bit crazy, but let's not be over picky, all right? Hey, I have to return my watch because the bezel sound is only in one direction. <laughs> this would be a little bit odd. Okay, little resume. What's the pro and cons? And the pro here is the price. This retails at 420 euros, so roughly for 440 US dollars and I mean there are some complications in this in this movement in this watch you have a chronograph you have the date and you have this nice inner bezel with the cities and you have a very very well made very well made movement you have a very good case and so yeah I think this watch really is worth the money definitely and you don't see them in every boutique and um, at every party so this is such really a really little bit unique to wear this watch. And so, hmm, um, I haven't cleared my mind yet. Sh yeah, shall I buy it or not? What do you think? Not, not really sure. I mean, the downside is the, is the mineral glass. Hmm, I'm not so happy with the mineral glass. Maybe it would be a solution to buy the watch, go to the watchmaker and order a sapphire crystal for it. I think this would be a solution, could be a solution. Chris, uh, Sapphire Crystal retails at, what is it, 50, 60 euros, and so wouldn't be the end of the world, and so, yeah, maybe this would be a solution. I've forgotten the, the strap, but um, this is a, a standard product. Rios 1931, this is Buffalo, Buffalo leather, and so it's a very high quality, well-made strap, matches the watch perfectly with the, with the stitching and the loom. And so, pretty, pretty good thing. And so, overall, good package, really worth a try. But as I said, I haven't cleared my mind by buy or not to buy. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was a pleasure to do this, to have this thing in my hand operated. So, Julian Kampmann, if you watched this, thank you very much again. Yeah, and now let's go back. Okay, welcome back. I hope this was interesting for you to see. And yeah, I haven't cleared my mind if I should buy this Paul Yacht World Time. I'm very close. But on the other hand, I cannot buy every watch I review here. And so, hmm, what to do now? Let me know in the comments if what would you do if you were in my position here. Hmm, yeah, very interesting question. Okay, but that's enough. If you want to see more images of watches, then please join me on Instagram, KSBetTim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and maybe until next time.